T.Y., what's most frustrating for you guys letting this one slip away at home? Uh, just losing at home, you know, especially you got your home crowd. Uh, you want to win for them, and then you want to win to get in. You know, we put it put it behind you. Uh, so next week will be filled with a lot of pressure, and we just got to perform. One of the more thrilling plays was your touchdown. Can you explain exactly what you saw? Look like their DBs kind of collided and tipped it up that sealed the, sealed the uh, touchdown for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, got a replay with me, and they kind of let they kind of let me go, and I was going deep, and then I looked back, Carson threw it, and then I seen him go up. I was about to go up, but I'm like, you know, I'm just going to let y'all fight for the ball, and then the ball popped up, and I got it. What was the biggest challenge in finding any sort of rhythm offensively? Was some of it attributed to really not having your quarterback in any of the practice sessions this week, just due to protocols? Uh, no, we just we just we just couldn't put it together. Um, they did a great job. They got a good defense, and we just won ourselves today. I don't know what it was. Can't put one point to it, but uh, we just won ourselves. I and mean, that one coach football out there, so we just got to get better. You get one more week to play Indianapolis Colts football on the road in Jacksonville. You've delivered some powerful messages to this team over the course of the season. What's your message going to be when you get another opportunity next week? Uh, we just got to find a way. Uh, if you want to keep going, we got to find a way to win. So um, my message to them is just put this one behind you quick, fast, in a hurry, and get on to Jacksonville. And you know, we've got a lot of um, momentum built up coming off this loss. So um, we'll, we'll be ready. T.Y., I appreciate the time. Thank you.